and welcome to my channel. I'm back from Berlin and I brought back some goodies. In this little Chanel bag, I put everything in here. Not everything is from Chanel, but some things are. And today we're going to try them on and maybe later I'll do a full haul with everything that I bought in Berlin. It's not only makeup. So today is, but the haul might not be. <laughs> So I have some NARS, some Chanel, some drugstore finds and uh, oh, one eyeshadow of Lethal Cosmetics. So I'm very excited to try these things out. I hope you are too and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll consider subscribing because I would love to grow my little YouTube family over here and let's get into the video. So the eyeshadow I bought is actually a multi-chrome. I've been interested in these for a little while. This is Parsec, by the way. It shifts from pink to green to gold, is what I discovered. And I think that it would be very pretty as a one and done eyeshadow shade. I've been really into that look lately and I do actually have a blue eyeliner I want to test out. So I think those two will combine nicely. So for today I'm actually not going to start with my eyeshadow because it's only one shade. I'm just going to put it all over the lids. So we're actually going to start with my foundation. And for foundation I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is actually not in stores in the Netherlands, not that I... Well, uh, in the Bijkorf there it is, but I'm not usually there. <laughs> it's, I mean, I don't live close to it. So um, I had to order it online and I wasn't sure about my shade. So I never did and I really wanted to try it. So uh, at Douglas in Berlin, this one is actually on sale. Not on sale, but for sale. And... Uh, I could test out the shade. So I think this is my shade, Light 3 Gobi. If I'm not mistaken, this is the second to lightest warm shade, so more yellow toned shade. And it looked in store and I tested it outside. It looked to be perfect for me. So this is it. I've had another NARS foundation in the past. I bought it in London a couple of years ago, which was the, what's it called again? The Sheer Glow, which I really liked, but it wasn't sheer and it wasn't glowy. And I feel like this one might be, or at least a little bit more skin-like. By the way, I am wearing some light moisturizer. That's what's shining so heavily. I'm not that sweaty, <laughs> but it is very hot today. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm very excited to try this foundation. I've been wanting to for a while. Ellie Glines has talked about it a lot. So let's just get into it. I'm going to pump out a little bit or quite a lot actually. So I'm not putting on any primers. I just used a little bit of moisturizer and I think that should be sufficient. Wow, this shade is dead on. I had um, Deauville, that is light number four, in the other foundation. And the undertone was great, but it was a little bit too dark. Actually, quite a bit. I feel like this Gobi shade is perfection. My first impression is that it looks quite glowy. Which I really like. I'm really into glowy foundations at the moment. And that the coverage is decent. But a little bit less than the sheer glow. I just can't get over how good this shade match is. All my recent favorite foundations, um, with the exception of the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundations, they didn't have a warm shade. So I had to go for a neutral or they didn't have any subcategories at all. And then it's usually so orange on me. It looks weird because the shade is then usually a little bit more pink and peachy and that just looks orange on me. I really need this sort of deadly yellow color and then it really looks the best. <laughs> and I feel like the shade will work for me in winter as well. It's a little bit in between what I'd call my summer shade and my winter shade. And it's very thin. It's a lot thinner than a sheer glow, which again, that's just very oddly named. It's a beautiful foundation, but I'd say it's more of a medium to full coverage, non-glowy foundation. 
This one, now that it's drying down, is a little bit more natural, I think. But still shiny enough. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I think it looks nice. It looks natural. I'd say it's a lot thinner than the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. The finish might be about the same, but also the coverage is a little less, so... This is actually a beautiful everyday foundation, I'm sure. Could get a little bit less glowy as it sets down more. We'll keep that in check, but I actually really like this glowy finish. So yeah, I think it looks beautiful. I'll let you know through the video, throughout the video, if it looks better or worse. All right, next up, I don't have a new concealer, but I do actually have a new concealer brush. This is from Abelin Professional. Uh, it's from DM, that's their drugstore. One of their drugstores, I'm sure they have many, but <laughs> this is a typical German drugstore. And these brushes were very cheap. So I was excited for them. And what I was most excited about was this shape. I've been doing my concealer with my fingers lately because all my concealer brushes or they're actually foundation brushes, they're way too big. So I thought this one would be great, especially because I always do my eyeshadow before my foundation usually. So I just wanted to give this a try, maybe in combination with the other, um, with my foundation brush. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath concealer because I feel like my eyes look a little bit tired <laughs> and I feel like my lighter coverage concealers are not light enough. Just putting a little bit over there and I'm using this. Look, this is the shape. It reminds me a little bit of the um, BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy collab brush. So let's see. I don't actually own that one, by the way. I just feel like this looks very similar. Oh yeah, this is wonderful. I can really... This is my problem area, like right there. Not here, I, my finger can get there and here. But this, this little part right there. That's where I usually have the most issues blending out my concealer. I'm also putting a little bit on the lid. I know I should use an eyeshadow primer, but I'm going for something very casual right now. And sometimes I actually like <laughs> the oil from my eyes melting together with the eyeshadow. When I was in Berlin, I did a very casual makeup look most days with the water fresh tint or the water flesh, water fresh complexion touch. I think it's called from Chanel, the new one. I used it in stores, so I don't actually own it, but I did use it a couple of times in store. And then I added just a slight shimmer on the eyes with a little bit of mascara and lip gloss and it was beautiful. So we're going to do something similar today, but I am going to use a little bit of powder because it is currently 32 degrees, which is about, I think it's about 90 Fahrenheit. So for me, it's, it's pretty hot. This brush is brilliant. It really blended it out very nicely. All right, we're two for two. For my, oh, I wanted to say I wanted to use a green bronzer, but that would be stupid because I actually have a powder bronzer that I want to use. So we're just going to powder the face first. And I thought we could use my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder in the shade Light. I am using the Essence mostly, but I want something lighter for today. And this is a very nice, thin, light powder. I really like it. So I'm just using this small Real Techniques brush. I really don't want to use too much powder because I really like the finish of everything. I do actually really like using my or um, applying my foundation before my eyeshadow. I really like the way it sort of cleans out your face and application of concealer is also a lot easier this way. It's just the fallout is sometimes so considerable since I do these big eye looks. A little bit in between my brows, on the eyelids. And then with whatever is remaining in the cap, I am also putting a little bit on my forehead. But I kept my cheeks mostly bare. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit using the ABH Taupe uh, Brow Wiz. 
I actually have a brow gel to test today, otherwise I would have done my brows beforehand. I don't think I'm going to do any dramatic brow look today. So just a little bit of touch up would be fine. I never really liked this pencil because it's so dry and so hard. But I must say the color is perfection on me. <laughs> just a little bit of hair-like hair strokes over here. We're starting to come together. <laughs> so for brow gel, I actually went to Catrice. And I, I'm sure this is available in the Netherlands as well, but I saw it in Germany. So this is the Super Glue Brow Styling Gel. And I think it's new, or at least I hadn't seen it before. And I really like my pink honey, but I don't like the fact that I have to use it before doing the rest of my makeup because uh, my foundation just doesn't lie as beautifully around it. And also it's a little bit of a finicky product. So I wanted a good old traditional brow gel that I can just use quickly without any trouble. That doesn't give maybe the same hold as the pink honey, but still enough for me to get by. And I was hoping that this could be the product for that. Of course, there is all this plastic around it. All right, I unleashed it from its plastic. Ooh. I don't know if you can see, but it's very sticky. It, it's nice. It's not as thin as most brow gels are. Yes, I think we can work with this. See, I was hoping because it said super glue and glue just seems to me to be very sticky and a thick product. And I feel like this is working very well. I mainly like the front to be very much, not very much, but a little bit more upwards. And then at the tail, I like it to go outwards. So I'm not sure how this is going to hold, but the initial application is beautiful. This would be a perfect everyday brow for me. I don't think it's perfect for that really ultra spiked up look. I don't think it's strong enough for that. But for a slightly more casual look, I think this is great. It will dry down a little bit more, I hope. All right, so far I'm really excited about all these products. Now let's go into the showstopper for today because of course the NARS foundation is very beautiful, but nothing is as beautiful as my new Chanel bronzer. <laughs> I finally got it. I've been debating getting this, but it was just out of my price league. And my mom was so kind and she gifted me all these things. So I finally got my hands on the new Chanel bronzer. Well, it's not really new by now. It's been out for a little bit, but it was still available. <laughs> so this is the Le Beige bronzer, um, the Maxi, or I should just say it in English, the Oversize Healthy Glow Sunkist Powder. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit light, a little bit thin. Um, I guess that's my code word for today. It's uh, in the shade light. I haven't touched it yet. I did do a little photo shoot with it. And I wanted to give my genuine first impression on everything. I did feel it in store, but look, this is what it looks like. This is the top. This is it compared to my face. It's very big. <laughs> it should last me a couple of years. It has this giant mirror, so I feel like I'm going to use this a lot for doing my makeup. And then there's this beautiful imprint with the little CC compacts. So let's dig into this. Just going to use my usual uh, Essence bronzer brush. I think ideally I would take a much bigger one, but all my brushes need to be washed very much. Um, <laughs> they're actually full of dust because I haven't used them a lot. I have my tried and trues now, but this is not the ideal bronzer brush. I would ideally like to use something like this for it, but I'll need to sanitize it first. So we're just going to use this one. Ah, now it's not pristine anymore. <laughs> That's fine. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All my bronzers are usually a little bit too deep. This is beautiful. It's glowy. 
it's slightly deeper than my skin tone well quite a lot but not as much as my other bronzers are which is a look I also like but for the look that I'm doing today which was meant to be a little bit more casual I think this is actually pretty and it goes on top of my unset foundation equally well as it does on my set foundation as far as I can see Also putting a little bit around my nose. This is such a beautiful light product. You can still sort of see your skin underneath. I guess it's not as full coverage as most of my bronzers are. I'm specifically thinking about the cream bronzer by ABH. That's just foundation in a pot. Just going to add a little bit more feel like I could do this all day, you know, with the beautiful compact. See, now it's a little bit more intense, so you can get there. I think this is the prettier, more natural look, but I guess I went there. <laughs> so now I have to do it on the other side as well. So I think it's a beautiful, versatile product. And I think it'll be even prettier with the big brush. I can just sort of go over everything. It's nice. It's really nice. That's it. That's my super bronzy face. But I do think this color really suits my skin tone. It's nice and light. But I think next time I'll go in with a little bit less. This was just to properly show you guys. And I like it. I'm not 100% 100, 100 sold on the brow gel yet. I think it's doing a fine job. It's sort of keeping them a little bit more upwards, but not quite as spiky as I would usually like. But I still like this. It's still just good enough. So now let's get into the eyeshadow because that's of course the of course the other showstopper today. This is Parsec and it's a multi-chrome and it's I believe one of their newer multi-chromes that they released separately. Um, I think a couple of months ago. It's in a loose pan, so I'll have to do it in a palette. Put it in a palette, I mean. See, so you can see the shift. It's sort of minty green to pink to gold. Yeah, you can see it beautifully in this light. Ah, oh, this is going to be stunning. And I've been wanting a multi-chrome eyeshadow. I do have a couple. I have um, two in Pat McGrath palettes and I have three in Odin's Eye palettes. But I wanted some singles and I wanted some very, very multi-chrome <laughs> shades. So I think this is going to be beautiful. They're nice and soft. I did already swatch this one. I wanted to show my mom. And if you don't know, Lethal Cosmetics is actually a German brand. Oh, this is so stunning. And it's actually located in Berlin. So nothing could be more appropriate than buying some Lethal Cosmetics while I'm there. Technically, I bought it when I was home because it's just, <laughs> uh, they are sold on Douglas, but they're only sold online, as far as I could tell. But it was the day after we arrived, so I feel like it still counts. It was definitely inspired by our visit. So I'm just going to put this nice and high. Wow, this is one of the, the beautiful, most beautiful eyeshadow I think that I own. It just works so beautifully with the light. And I feel like it was a correct choice to just do this one eyeshadow. I don't think I'm going to do any on the top lashes. Just this. Wow. <laughs> wow, I, I debated for a little bit. Not whether I should get one, but which one I would get. And I think I, I did a good job. So now I might ruin it by adding an eyeliner, but I do have an eyeliner to test out. So that's what we're going to do. At the Dior stand, I actually saw a very pretty blue eyeliner, not an eye pencil, but an actual eyeliner. And I thought, you know, I don't usually buy that kind of stuff luxury at luxury prices. I try to find something similar at the drugstore, so I did. And I found one from L'Oréal Paris. This is the Infallible Grip 24 Hours Matte Liquid Liner. It's very matte. I tried it on my hand and it's very hard to remove. So I think that's a good sign as well. And the color is actually a little bit deeper and a little bit more bright br blue than the Dior liner was. So I think this will be, be great. 
It is a pot eyeliner, which is not my preferred style. But the point of the brush thingy is very thin, so we're just going to give it a go. Oh, that's not bad. That actually looks pretty nice with the eyeshadow. Also going to do a wing. It's a little bit more difficult to control than the Dior one. That I will admit, but the color is very nice. And of course this wing got away from me. <laughs> it's very thick, but I really can't help that anymore. I like this side better, I think, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. I do really like colored eyeliners. So I think I'll get a lot of use out of this one. See, I think this would have been prettier, <laughs> but now I'll have to commit. So on this side, I went back once to do the wing. I don't think I'll do that next time because I really like this one more, but now I have to make this one a little bit deeper. So I'm going over with it just a little bit more. But yeah, this eyeliner is a hit. I really like it with this eyeshadow. I think I'm going to lean more towards this for my everyday makeup. Just one pretty eyeshadow with some eyeliner and then maybe not as dramatic as this one, but I really like this. So I'm just going to add some black mascara. This is my Lift Up mascara from Essence. They did release a new one. Uh, there's a little bug here. They did release a new Lift and Volume mascara and I think I'm going to give that a try. This one is almost run out. So I went pretty light with my mascara, but I think it's pretty. I really would have liked the wings to be a little bit more subtle as well, but now you can see the color very well. It looks so beautiful with the mint green. <laughs> I think the final item I have for today is a pair of lashes, but I think I'm going to hold off on those. I actually also have a Pat McGrath palette to test out, which will be the next video, I'm sure. And I'm going to use these with that. So just know that these are coming as well. <laughs> so now let's just finish up the look with whatever was already in my collection. I'm going to use my Ro Rose Initial blush by Chanel, which I think will be a beautiful match for the pink in the eyeshadow. And this blush is actually from the old style. This is a little bit more older. This is from before they reformulated. So it's a nice thin formula <laughs> again. I really like those, except for my brow gel apparently. So I'm just adding a little bit of blush, maybe just a little bit more. I think that's nice. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of highlighter, just because I really like that. I'm going to use my Dior. This is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in the shade 2. It's the pinky one, this one. Because I powdered my nose a little bit and I like there to be just a touch of shine. I'm not going to put it anywhere else, just in the center <laughs> over here. <laughs> and then finally for lipstick, I rediscovered this one from YSL. This was my favorite lipstick for a little bit. It's this heart shaped one and I feel like it could be nice with this look. Oh, I should tell you what it's called. It's the Volupte Tint in Balm in the shade number five. It's pretty old, I'm not sure if they still have this color, but I do think they still have this formula. And it's pretty pigmented. I think that's nice. I do like a slightly stronger lip when I don't have a lot of eyeshadow on. So that's it, this is my finished look. I'm in love with all of the products that I bought and I knew I would be because I really vetted everything before I uh, made the decision to purchase things. But I'm actually surprised by how much I like the blue eyeliner with the eyeshadow. You should look at this side. <laughs> and I really like this foundation. It has set down just a little bit, but not too much. I think it's still nice and glowy, but it, it's just a little bit more subtle. And I do like the fact that I put a little, little bit of powder on my forehead because otherwise it would just be too shiny. 
And I really like the lipstick with it and I really like the bronzer. Now that everything is finished, it doesn't look as intense anymore. It actually looks perfect. So yeah, that's it for my video. I hope you liked it. I hope, <laughs> well, you can't be as excited as I am because you don't actually have the products, I don't think. But <laughs> I hope you liked it anyway. And I will see you in the next one when we're going to do a haul. We're going to try some Pat McGrath. We're going to try some eyelashes and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll see you in the next one.